one, so I decided to try this Lip Sense craze that I have been hearing so much about. I um, had actually been added to several different groups online on Facebook, and so whenever I finally decided to give it a try, I felt it was only fair to order one color from each of the groups that I had been added to because they each helped me make the decision to try it. So um, I received those little lip sense pieces. One was the um, limited edition goddess. It's like a matte purpley pink. It's really, really cute. Love that. The first one I tried that came in the original kit was the Roseberry. And again, I love this one as well. It's a little bit more bold when put on than I expected it to be. But then again, all of these colors are pretty. They're intense colors, but not in a bad way intense. They're just, because you put three coats on, it's a very strong pigment. So um, the Roseberry was a little bit brighter than expected, given the color in the tube, um, but it was still a, a pretty color. I liked it. I also tried the uh, pink champagne, that's the one I'm wearing right now, or have been wearing throughout the day, and it has a little bit of a, um, like a, sh I don't wanna say shimmer, cause it's not like glitter, but it's got like a reflective something in it, which is, it's good at hiding if you put an imperfect application on. The little hue is, is nice in that regard. Um, this is my favorite color that I've gotten because it complements my skin so well. It's amazing, These, this pink champagne. Um, and then the other I got was apple cider. It has a little bit of that shimmeriness in it as well, but um, it's a little bit thicker going on, it seems like. Um, you can see the shimmery a little bit better in it, and it's a very neutral, like a yellowish brown undertone. Um, so again, that's another really good one. I have not had to use this oops remover more than like, I don't know, just a couple of times. And that was just whenever I was having issues staying in my own lip line. The initial feeling of it was different, a little tingly, which they say is normal. It's the alcohol absorbing off of the top layer, I believe, or off of your skin. And then um, the application was a little bit tricky because it's not like your usual lipstick or gloss application. You have to go one direction and messing up is pretty easy to do. about after roughly six hours of wear time and I've eaten greasy fair food because we went down to um, a little event and then I've also drank some like citric like lemonade and water and kissed my baby's noggin about a bazillion times so um, the only thing I've had to reapply is the lip gloss which I mean that's kind of that's part of their slogan I guess is that it's a two-part system so um, that I've had to reapply in general uh, the lip gloss is a little bit thick it's a little bit sticky which is a little it's not my favorite part um, but it keeps my lips really moisturized and I don't have to worry about color transfer. The most it transfers is a little bit of the, the, gl the gloss residue. Okay, so it has now been nine hours of me having this on. It's made it through several meals and I'm 
15 million little kisses. Um, so you can see how well it stayed on. Pretty good. So I don't know. It's a, it's a fun product. It's one that's definitely worthwhile in my opinion and uh, something I'll try again in the future. Thank you guys for tuning in and uh, hope to see you next time.